Hi guys, so really quick before I get into this video, I wanted to share with you guys the latest glasses that I've been wearing and I wanted to show you guys a little unboxing. So of course I've been wearing them, but I put them back in the packaging just because I wanted to unbox them with you guys really quickly. It's funny because I have Sex in the City playing in the background while it's paused, but I was watching it. So I want to talk about another glasses company in case you guys are always looking for new ones. I know I've had a lot of friends right now that don't want to go to places like Walmart or just any other place in general for glasses. Like they want to shop for their glasses online. Not only just because they're, it's because they're cheaper and it's more convenient. The only problem is, is if you don't know your prescription or all that stuff but if you have that on file then why not get cheaper glasses online like you really do save yourself a lot of money and I wanted to share with you guys a brand that I recently discovered called OQ Club and this is the packaging that it comes in it's really nice because it keeps your glasses safe and then it also comes with an extra case on the inside Another great thing is I do have a coupon code. I want to say this now because I always forget to mention my coupon code, but it is just Nicole. Of course, all links to the glasses that I show you guys today will be in the description and also the coupon code. So this is how they come. I'm going to unbox the product for you. So it just looks like this. And then you slide your glasses out. What makes this company different from all the rest is this is the coolest thing ever. It comes with, I don't know why I'm blanking. What is what is this called again? Bookmark? Yes, I don't know why I was, I was completely blinking. A bookmark. And I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love to read. I go to the library almost every single week. And I haven't gone this month just because I've been reading books online instead, but for some of those cute childhood books, you can't find those on, on online. This is how the packaging looks. It's adorable, nice and convenient, easy to manage and take with you. It's not too bulky. So with every order, it will show you guys the your prescription. So obviously, I know my prescription. I have like the most basic prescription for nearsightedness. I cannot see far. Mo the model that I'm showing you guys is called Fanny. And this is just a white gold glasses. And then they have a thank you card right here. So these beautiful glasses. Oh wait, before I say what the price of these glasses are, they also come with the glasses cleaner and then the inside is super soft as well. So you don't have to worry about scratching your glasses. But the price for this is $31. Can you believe that? Like back when I was getting glasses from Sears, I spent $700 on two pairs. And I don't even think you're gonna spend $100 for two pair, the two pairs that I'm gonna show you right now. Especially when you use my coupon code, you're gonna save some money. So I'm gonna try these on. These are called Fanny and this is in the color white gold. Oh, this is so cute. It goes with my outfit. It's very like vintage 1950s style glasses, but what do you guys think? I think it's cute. Brian, what do you think? <laughs> cute, yeah. Yeah, they're cute, huh? I have Jack Burger behind me. Jerk. I hate burger. Okay, so I love these glasses. They're so cute. So the next style is called Beady. <laughs> that sounds funny. Beady, and it, I think I got the shade light brown. Of course, every single one comes exactly the same packaged. So look at these, these are beautiful. I love these. I have, I don't have a single pair like this, so. I feel like they kind of go, it goes with this like white turtleneck vibe, you know what I'm saying? This is very like Christmassy, walk through Christmas trees, I don't know. Yeah, I love them, so. These are the second style. Anyways, you guys, I love these glasses. I just wanted to share with you a new place to discover glasses. These are only $34. And of course, with my code, you will save money. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video and you found this part of the video helpful in case you are looking for glasses. If not, I'm sorry, <laughs> but you can always skip forward. But we don't want that. We want to enjoy every part of the video, but. Okay, enjoy the rest of the video and yeah, I'll see you right now. 
Okay, now for the fun part. I started off with my Lumify eye drops. I love the, this. I'm addicted to this stuff. Honestly, I just am so fascinated by how your eyes go from red to white like instantly. And I wanted to wear some contacts today, so that is why I use that. Then, of course, whenever you're doing an event like I was, I was going to the Renaissance Festival, I put a pore minimizer on. And I know this is kind of late. I don't know how everyone else's state does Renaissance festivals, but for us, they do end in December. But this is great for any kind of Renaissance theme, a party, Halloween. I know Halloween's a long time away, but I always like to upload videos earlier so people have time to figure out what they want to do instead of last minute trying to figure out. Plus, this is a super easy look that I do all the time anyways, not just for Renaissance look, but it was very fitting for this look as well. And I just love this look. I know I said that already, but I can't emphasize how beautiful that it is. Of course, I used my favorite drugstore foundation. It is literally the best drugstore foundation. I even like it more than high-end foundation sometimes. And I'm just going to set this all in place with my baking powder. This Purr baking powder has been really great. I love this vanilla scent. It's nice and it sets the skin really good too as well. Of course, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I use blonde eyebrow pencils because I feel like the auburn eyebrow pencils that I use are way too dark and look brunette. So if you guys know any good auburn reddish brown eyebrow pencils that aren't more on the dark side please let me know down below because i do not know i have to use blonde and then go in with a powder to kind of get that more auburny brown type of look and it just would be so much better if i didn't have to do that and if there was an eyebrow pencil out there that has those hues in it so if you guys know please comment down below that would be great so as you can see, I'm just setting my eyebrows now and I'm going to take a white eyeshadow. Now I'm using a white eyeshadow to highlight the inner corners and then I'm going to move with my Sistar Cosmetics light brown eyeshadow and that's basically all the shadows that we're going to use for this eye makeup look. Like I said, it is super easy to achieve and it's gorgeous and it does kind of look renaissance -y. I doubt they wore this much makeup back then, but still. I like the way that it looks and I feel like it's going to complement many of you lovely people out there. So just blend it with your finger or a brush however you like it, but the brightness in the inner corners is what really makes this look. Now I'm going to brush off the bake and then move on to lashes. Oh actually, <laughs> sorry I was getting ahead of myself, we're going to pop that white eyeliner on the waterline. I couldn't think of the word. And that's really gonna make the white eyeshadow stand out as well. And the Lumify eye drops, it'll just make your eyes look gorgeous and stunning like Bambi or something. Now the lashes. I just heavily coat my upper lashes and then I take my favorite half lashes right here. They're the 3 fourth lashes. I'm trying to think of the brand name again. I don't know, I've been using these a lot and these are super natural because sometimes people have the half lashes that are super, super long and I don't, I like them, but they're more dramatic. I'll have to look for the name because I think I just had these sitting on my desk so I couldn't show the packaging. But yeah, anyways, I am taking a pink blush, a pale pink blush to go with the porcelain look that I'm doing. Keep everything matte. And yeah, I'm just gonna place this all over my cheeks and now I look like a Renaissance painting. <laughs> I wish those paintings are like perfect. So now I'm going to put on this headpiece that I got from Amazon. I get everything on Amazon. Like I get so many DMs on Instagram. Where do you get your cosplays? Where do you do this? And like Amazon, always. It's funny that people don't check Amazon first sometimes. So Amazon has everything. So I just love this headpiece. It made it look very renaissance -y. For the lips, I'm just taking Naked by Urban Decay to give myself that pale lip look. And what I'm going to top on top is called Nude something, Nude Foxy, I think, by Revlon. I'm so sorry, my brain's all over the place. I am tired. <laughs> and anyways, this is the completed look. Also, this gorgeous costume is from... 
Amazon, you guessed it. But yeah, everything will be linked down below, guys, including the glasses in the beginning. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.